today we're gonna make. Stop looking at me. <laughs> I'm making sure it's recording. Today we're gonna make. What is this? <laughs> oh, you stupid idiot. <laughs> today we're gonna make a string puppet. It's so easy. Okay, so you're gonna need scissors, popsicle sticks, or sticks from your yard, thread or fishing line, a needle. And that's it, let's get the show on the road instead of laughing all day, huh? Okay, I'm using a teddy bear, but you can use any stuffed animal or toy that you want. We're gonna work with the arms, the head, and the legs to make this thing animated. Okay, so if you don't have popsicle sticks, you can use anything firm, uh, even chopsticks would work, that would be great or sticks from your yard, of course, as I said. So I'm gonna use sticks. My sticks are able to be cut with scissors. You might need to break yours. I'm sure you'll figure something out. My sticks are about the same size, about six or seven inches. I am just going to place one stick up a little higher. It kind of looks like a cross. Then I'm going to take some twine or a string and just bind them together real tight. Just wrap it and wrap it and tie it. Knot it several times. You want this thing to be secure. All right, now you need to cut five strings. I am going to use, definitely not twine, I'm going to use fishing line because I don't want people to see the strings. I'm cutting five pieces. Make them longer than necessary though because you're going to have to adjust the lengths accordingly. For instance, the strings that go to the legs are going to be longer than the strings that go to the arms. The string to the head is going to be the shortest string, but just cut them all long to start and you'll be fine. Tie one string to the bottom, a string to each side, and two strings to the top. The two top strings are going to connect to the legs. After your strings are securely tied to the sticks, I'm going to stick one of the strings through the needle. This is the string that's going to connect to the head. This is the string that's connected to the bottom of the cross. It's so easy because you just stick it through the top of the head of the bear and knot it off. Next, I'm going to connect the legs. So I just stick it right through the feet. Remember the feet are connected to the top of the cross. Tie them off just like you did with the head. And then finally, we're going to do the arms. You may need an extra hand at this part to make sure you get the lengths correct. Have somebody hold your stick, your cross, and then you can get your lengths figured correctly. You want the strings to be tight from the arms and legs, from all of the appendages to the cross. When you tie off the arms, make sure the arms are downward because otherwise you're gonna have the arms of the bear sticking out to the side basically the whole time. If you don't have a needle, just go ahead and tie the strings right around the arms, legs, and head. Okay, so this is it, the end. Make sure you use strong sticks or popsicle sticks. Nothing cheap or they'll break. Also, I hot glued here, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hot glue the strings if you think they're gonna fall off, which is what I did. Okay, so to work this thing, um, the arms, you just go side to side, make noises. <laughs> Okay, and then the feet, puppet feet don't move that much, but you wanna go like, just like, <gasps> wee, woohoo. Okay, so la di di do di si di. Say bye bye, bye. Wait, say bye bye. Say it, say bye. Bye. Wait, say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Try it again, make him say bye bye. Bye. Is it recording? Yes. Okay, wait, ready? Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. Thanks for watching the Classy Cheapskate. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Do li ti ti pi pa pa ti ba di bo pa pa Thanks to my Canadian friend for sending this teddy bear and for the idea. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>